the first thing that you're going to need for your guinea pig is definitely going to be the cage to put them in. Um, it's recommended to get two guinea pigs, so most of the store-bought cages that you can find in, obviously, the stores um, aren't big enough for one guinea pig, so I don't see how you're going to find one big enough to fit two. So I would recommend getting a CNC cage. That's what you're looking at now. It's a 2x4 CNC cage. That's the sizing for two guinea pigs. Definitely you can go bigger, but that's the minimum. I'll put the square feet on the screen right now of um, how big your cage should be. But for right now, this is just what mine looks like. I forgot the square feet of how it should be. Another one of the things that you're definitely going to need for your guinea pig is um, food for them to eat. So some of the brands that I recommend, um, I have three brands that I really do recommend that you get for your guinea pig. The first brand I recommend would be KT Timothy Complete Guinea Pig Food, Sunscription Vita Prima Guinea Pig Food. The brand that I recommend the most out of all brands would definitely be Oxbow Guinea Pig Food, just because it's a Timothy based food, so it's better for the older guinea pigs, um, and also it's just the best quality one. The sun goes down, the stars... You're also going to need a food bowl to put the food in. So there are many different types of food bowls. You can find them around your house or whatever. This is the one I actually use. That's why there's food in it. Um, it's a ceramic one, and I really recommend ceramic food dishes um, that's big enough to hold your guinea pig's food in it because it's not easy for them to tip over. Um, and you don't want the food to spill around the cage because it's unsanitary. Ones that I don't recommend but that you can still find are plastic ones. Um, they're just not the best quality. They're cheap plastic ones that the guinea pigs can easily tip over and move around the cage. Next, you're going to need hay for your guinea pigs. So the two most common types of hay would be uh, Timothy hay and alfalfa hay. Um, you need to feed your guinea pigs alfalfa hay if they're sick, nursing, or under the ages of six months. So I have some alfalfa hay right here um, by the brand KT and I give this to my guinea pigs although they are six months um, over because I give it to them as a treat only. Um, alfalfa hay has a really high protein content so you don't want to feed that too often. Um, but the hay I do recommend for older guinea pigs would be the Oxfa Western Timothy hay. It's the most greenest, softest hay. You're also going to need a water bottle for your guinea pigs. This one I actually do not recommend because it leaks a, t a tad bit. Um, it's the Petco water bottle. This is the large one. For one guinea pig, I would recommend a bottle no smaller than 16 ounces. And for two guinea pigs, I would recommend 32 ounces. You're also going to need a hay rack or a hay bin um, to put their hay in. I don't recommend just putting it on the floor because it's really unsanitary. They can just walk all over it and pee. But this one I use is a hay bowl, and it fits quite a, a lot of hay in there. The next items you're going to need for your guinea pigs are toys, tunnels, and tubes and stuff like that. The reason being is that guinea pigs get pretty bored um, quite often and quite easily, so you need things to stimulate their mind. And they're pretty active for the most part, so you need things for them to play with. Um, things like little tiny toys that they can chew on. This is a little willow. Um, things made out of wood are really good for their teeth. Rope toys, um, nut not nibblers. I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with toys like this. Also, tunnels and tubes and stuff like that. This one's made out of cardboard, edible materials, or even plastic tubes as long as they don't chew at the plastic is fine. Um, just a good place for them to hide in as well during the day to play. And also, they really love running laps around the tubes, and it's a great form of exercise for them. Other things that you're definitely going to need for your guinea pig's care would be um, wood shoes or anything for them to chew on. Um, there's many different forms. There's things like wood shoes loofah, mineral chews, things like that. We're all familiar with like puzzle pieces and anything that they can chew on. You can find them quite cheap or quite expensive. Um, little mineral chews or lava stone chews, but these are just a different array of everything that I have. These need to be given to your um, guinea pigs because it helps wear down their teeth, which is important because their teeth grow constantly non-stop. Next you're going to need grooming supplies. Um, guinea pigs with the longer hair, like the Abyssinians and the Peruvians and the Silkies, are definitely going to need their hair groomed every day. You can find brushes at the pet stores for them or brushes around your house as long as they're clean, but these are both pet store bought brushes. Nail clippers you're definitely going to need as well because 
their nails grow pretty quick. So at least every two to three weeks you need to be cutting your guinea pig's nails or at least trimming them. Um, when, I, when you do that, I would recommend having some stike powder or flour around to stop the flow of blood if you do cut there quick. Next grooming things you're going to need is shampoos or like instant shampoos because guinea pigs do get quite dirty. So I would recommend bathing your guinea pigs at least um, once every two months because they do sit in their pee and their poo so it's not very sanitary. So you can find critter shampoos specifically made for small animals. Or another shampoo, it would be Johnson's Baby Shampoo, the tearless one. The next thing that you're going to need is definitely a hideout. Guinea pigs need somewhere to go when they feel unsure because they are prey animals. So, when they feel unsafe or unsure about something, they can always have a place to go and hide. Sometimes tubes and tunnels can be the alternative, but you always need something with a complete closed top and kind of a secluded area. Um, I recommend ones that you can find around your house or ones that you make yourself because most of those are cardboard houses and it's good for their teeth because they can chew on it if you can see. But this is a plastic pet igloo that I got in the pet store and they don't really like it. I mean they love it to chew on it but I don't like that fact. So I wouldn't recommend these and especially in the summertime like right now it gets quite hot on the inside of those. Next you're going to be needing bedding for your guinea pig's cage. Obviously you don't want them to pee and poo on the actual base of the cage because that is quite messy and unsanitary. So you're going to need something absorbent to soak up their pee and cover the smell of poo. Um, so two that I recommend would be Aspen Wood Shavings. The brand of this one is Great Choice, but you can use any brand. And also um, Carefresh, but the off brand of Carefresh would be Critter Care or Boxo Bedding. This one is just the soft, fluffy paper bedding that you can get. So I do recommend using fleece, and that's what I use. Um, fleece is just a cloth material that helps wick the pee, and you can find it in different patterns, and it's, I think, a lot easier to use than bedding. Some cleaning supplies, things like paper towels, cage sprays, cage wipes, and things like that are going to be needed, and broom and dustpans.